Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. I love it when it's getting close to the weekend. Wow, I'm looking like I have a little redness going on this morning. Um, I would like to say happy birthday this morning to my cousin Katya. I won't say how old she is because, but she's 10 years younger than me. <laughs> and I hope she has a fabulous day because she's a fabulous person and a great mom. And I miss her. So I don't even know if she watches these, but if you do, Katie, I hope you have a great day. So today, my look is going to be all about the tri-colored pit bull, if you saw that on my wall last night. Oh, this is going to be a del oh, I thought I couldn't find my primer. It's not prime, it's a crime. Anyways, okay, back to the tri-color. The tri-color pit bull... Their distinctive markings are almost that of a Rottweiler, where they have the dots like their eyebrows. But, of course, I'm not going to do that. But what I thought I would do is... Um, Alright, first I have to say, since I've consistently been using primer on my face, I think my face is smoother. I just had to throw that out there so I don't forget. But, um, I'm not going to put the dots on my eyes. Let me grab my picture of the tricolor rots, or the tricolor pit, so I can tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the tricolor pit. And this is a girl that I'm using as my inspiration. But I'm not going to dot over my eyebrows like that. So, I grabbed a couple of looks that I didn't have anyone vote on last night. Because I had my tacky. So, I thought I'd do something like one of these. Where I have my dark but I have a lid lighter so that's what we're going to try today but I hope that you all enjoyed me informing you not only about what was going to inspire my look today but also about some of the facts about pit bulls in general and some of the misconceptions and I'll keep sharing little facts like that like <clears throat> the reason that I got I don't want to say involved but the reason that they became one of my favorite dog breeds was because when I was delivering mail down here in Beloit one followed me one day and like Mary had a little lamb she followed me around and this lady in the neighborhood she's like oh she likes you you should take her home and I'm like I am not getting anybody in this neighborhood upset at me for taking their dog and she said oh she isn't anyone in this neighborhood's dog somebody drove up in a car threw her out and took off and at the time she was just a puppy pretty little and I said well she matches the size of my other dog and she had fit through my doggy door I'll be back after work. 
Actually, no. I said, I will go home and talk to my husband about it. And I was on that route the next day. And so I would let you know tomorrow. And then this dog looked at me like, and I said, I'll be back after work. So later on that day, <clears throat> I called my vet and asked her, because at the time, some of my friends had really little kids and I didn't want a vicious pit bull around my friend's children. And I asked her, you know, are, are, is it true that they are vicious and biters and that they turn vicious even, you know, they say that they snap no matter what their environment is and no matter how they are raised that eventually they snap. And she said, no, those are all lies and I said, well, what, you know, I just don't want her biting one of my friend's children. And she said that the dog that bites the most, does anyone know? Can anyone guess that? Maybe I'll wait and see and tell you all later. Because you would be surprised probably. All right, I got to tell you because I'm terrible. I'll, I'll either forget that I asked or I'll forget. <laughs> I'll forget what I'm saying because obviously I forget what I'm saying. I'm just throwing some brown liner on like I did yesterday before I powder. Um... So I asked her which dog, or she told me which dog bit the most, and it was the Cocker Spaniel. That's crazy, right? Because you think those cute little playful dogs, but then you know what? I believe it because they are high strung and, oh, I don't want to do this yet. Um higher strong and they are territorial and they love their owners and like to protect them and don't like things out of line in their homes and where Jazzy yeah she will bark and scare the crap out of you but if you know her name you can come in our house she don't care that's why when strangers <clears throat> walk by and we yell at her, we call her killer. So, they think. Ooh. Number one, she's scary. And a killer. Number two, they can't come in our house and go, oh, Jazzy, you want a treat? Because then that's all it takes to be her best friend. All right. Now to dim eyes. Oh, I tell you guys, some days, it's like Thursdays, like I am getting good sleep. But you can see because I, the bags are pretty much gone from the weekend. Good morning, Paul. <clears throat> but... I am glad that the weekend's almost here. You can't stop. You can't stop what? Watching my videos? <laughs> oh, you're off to work. Well, have a great day at work. I have to leave work early today for doctor's appointment. Which is good, so it makes my Thursday even quicker. But, alright, let's go in with Palette One again. Because I love 
You know, Paul, if you have anyone in your life that you love, Unique does ship to London. Is that where you're from? Or is it Ireland? Either way, we ship to multiple countries. It's not just a United States thing. <clears throat> I'll hook you up. Get you some fabulous, fabulous makeup for the fabulous women in your life. All right. Mm, I think I'm going to start with Sincere, which is this really light. Actually, I'm going to do a neutral all over my lid, which is elated. Because I want to start with just a base over my whole lid. And by starting with a base, what I'm doing is making the other colors blendable. Easier blendable and so I don't get harsh lines on them when I'm doing like my transition line and that stuff. Alright, now I am going in with my crease brush and again the kudos is still available as of last night, but I I think it's going to sell out. I really do. Alright, so I'm going in with Jealous. Which I hate Jealousy, but I like the color. Alright. I think we're going to... No, I'm going to do my transition next. So I need my big fluffy brush. And I'm going to use Chipper for that. And throw a little brassy in. And again, the transition color, you just want a light. Like, I am barely holding the brush. Just adding that color. It's going on my crease, but into my brow bone too. And down onto my lid a little bit but it's called the transition color because it's literally transitioning the top to the bottom and using the fluffy brush makes it so blendable Blend, blend, blend. And this is, even when you're putting the color on your brush, you don't want to add a lot of color to the brush. So like I, I'll just lightly swirl it in and tap it off. Because you can build and build and build this color to get it as dark as you want. You can always add more, but you can't take it off. And I did learn another trick yesterday that if you are doing this and are having trouble with the colors blending, like, I don't know if you guys can see, this eye it's looking a little bit chunky on top. What you want to do with your blending brush is take a shimmery color, like I'll take this color. And just do the tap and just lightly blend a shimmery color onto it. It doesn't add color to that transition, but it does blend it. Blend it out, blend it out. And also, if you swirl the color instead of windshield wiping it, that will help blend it in too. Alright, so we got a couple of colors. 
let's go over that tricolor now. Now I'm going to that. Oh, I guess it's not called Jealous. It's called Zealous, which is a way better eyeshadow color than Jealous would be. But this color would probably make people jealous of your eyes. And I'm going to use the hooded eye technique that I've learned where we're going to start with a dot here. We're going to put a dot out here and draw that line. Because I'm going to draw my eyes outward today and down. And we're going to try to make this color a little bit more pronounced. Blend it. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush by going all the way into the corner of my eye. So I'm adding the color there, but not in the middle here, because we're going to make that like our eyebrow. So again, I'm dotting above my pupil, dotting out here. We're going to go across, across, and then down, make that a big V, or a 7, I don't know. If it's a 7, this is the short end of the 7. again. I'll blend these colors in a little bit more. Go from underneath of my eye a little bit. And then use my crease brush to go in the crease. All right, now I want to blend this out again just to get rid of those, the harsh lines. Swirl. And I'm just using the very end of this brush, swirl it around, get rid of those harsh lines, and this is where if I didn't add the color underneath the the base color and that transition color, I would just have a dark straight line that would not be pretty. Okay, now the reason I did my mineral foundation today was so I could touch that up. I didn't mean to get it on my forehead. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go in with some concealer just a tiny, tiny dot and put it on the lids of both eyes. Yeah, I got way too much even for that. 
what I'm doing. But I'm going to put that on my lid. And I did this trick the other day with my um, beloved palette. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my deluxe brush again that applies a heavier color and I'm going to put this lightest gold color on. Actually no, I'm going to put the brassy on. It's a little bit darker, golden. And I'm going to put it right on top of that concealer, dab it on so it's nice and thick. I don't want to brush it on and smear it around. And that is what's going to give me that look of that tricolor like the tricolor pit has. Like magic. Alright. Because I'm a perfectionist sometimes, I'm going to add more of the zealous, not jealous. Give that sideline some definition. Thanks, Paul. And I like this, but I heard another trick yesterday. So I'm going to try this. And it could make this whole thing fail when it looks good. So I should just leave well enough alone, but... That is so not like me. Because when I learn a tip, I want to do it. So, I learned a tip yesterday that no matter what color you are using or putting on your eyes, that if you add an orange, right above your transition it just makes all the other colors pop so I'm gonna try that and just add some of my splurge cream shadow to this mix <laughs> <laughs> 